the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, by whose gift your faithful offer you right and praiseworthy service, grant we pray that we may hasten without stumbling to receive the things you have promised. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. We are the real people of the circumcision, we who worship in accordance with the Spirit of God. We have our own glory from Christ Jesus without having to rely on a physical operation. If it came to relying on physical evidence, I should be fully qualified myself. Take any man who thinks he can rely on what is physical. I am even better qualified. I was born of the race of Israel and of the tribe of Benjamin, a Hebrew born of Hebrew parents, and I was circumcised when I was eight days old. As for the law, I was a Pharisee. As for working for religion, I was a persecutor of the church. As far as the law can make you perfect, I was faultless. But because of Christ, I have come to consider all these advantages that I had as disadvantages. Not only that, but I believe nothing can happen that will outweigh the supreme advantage of knowing Christ Jesus my Lord. The Word of the Lord. Let the hearts that seek the Lord rejoice. O oh, sing to the Lord, sing his praise. Tell all his wonderful works. Be proud of his holy name. Let the heart that seek the Lord rejoice. Let the heart that seek the Lord rejoice. Consider the Lord and his strength. Constantly seek his face. Remember the wonders he has done, his miracles, the judgments he spoke. Let the heart that seek the Lord rejoice. O children of Abraham his servant, O sons of the Jacob he chose, He, the Lord, is our God, His judgments prevail in all the earth. Let the hearts that seek the Lord rejoice. Alleluia, Alleluia! My soul is waiting for the Lord, I count on His word. Alleluia! The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The tax collectors and the sinners were all seeking the company of Jesus to hear what he had to say. And the Pharisees and the scribes complained. This man, they said, welcomes sinners and eats with them. So he spoke this parable to them. What man among you with a hundred sheep, losing one, would not leave the ninety-nine in the wilderness and go after the missing one till he found it? And when he found it, would he not joyfully take it on his shoulders? And then when he got home, called together his friends and neighbours, Rejoice with me, he would say, I found my sheep that was lost. In the same way I tell you, there will be more rejoicing in heaven over one repentant sinner than over ninety-nine virtuous men have no need of repentance. Or again, what woman with ten drachmas would not, if she lost one, light a lamb and sweep out the house and search thoroughly till she found it? And then when she found it, call together her friends and neighbours? Rejoice with me, she would say, I found the drachma I lost. In the same way I tell you, there is rejoicing among the angels of God over one repentant sinner. The Gospel of the Lord.
Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters, I'd like to begin with this phrase, a very powerful phrase. There will be more rejoicing among the angels of God over one repentant sinner. And so the question here, what significant has one lost sheep or one lost coin in the parable for me today? The Pharisees and scribes kept away from the social outcasts of their society because as religious leaders, they cannot mingle or come in contact with the so-called contaminated people. Yet Jesus mingled freely and had table fellowships with these social outcasts and more importantly, to reveal God's loving and compassionate face to them. Because Jesus regarded every person as important, as they are made in the image and likeness of God, and gave them every opportunity to return to God's mercy and love. For Jesus, one lost sheep equals to the other 99 sheep that did not stray. Sometime back, I watched the seven-part video series called Search. And this can be found in the program formed. This search series was done to help people who are searching for meaning in their lives and explore the deepest question in one's heart. For example, God. In one of the series, there was a story of this massive earthquake which hit Armenia in 1988 that measured 6.8 on the richest scale, which caused 30,000 deaths within four minutes. A bunch of parents ran towards a school that had completely collapsed and stood outside the rubble and started to mourn as they presumed that all the kids had perished in the earthquake. However, there was one dad who ran towards the rubble and started to dig, taking one brick after another with his bare hands. The others who saw this dad then came forward to help him. But after many hours of digging, they gave up as they presumed that nobody could possibly be alive. But this dad did not give up and kept going and going despite the mocking by the others as they felt that his efforts were futile and useless. But after 38 hours, the miracle happened. As the dad lifted the brick and threw it away with his bloodied hands, he saw the faces of his son and his friends through the rubble. The son here looked up and said, I knew you will come, Dad. Just like the dad in the true story, our God continues to search high and low for us because we are indeed precious in His sight and God desires that none of us be lost. Our encounter of Jesus at every Eucharistic celebration means that we are called to go out, go forth, and reveal the loving and compassionate face of Jesus to those around us, especially through our witnessing, actions and convictions. However, we too can become counter-witness to Jesus as his disciple, just like the Pharisees and scribes who were not loving shepherds to God's people and sadly shut the door of divine mercy to the misfits and outcasts despite their knowledge of scriptures. Simply put, you and I have to walk the talk so as to become a breach between God and a lost sheep out there and help the person draw closer to the loving embrace of our compassionate Saviour. And so the question, who do I consider as a lost sheep in my life today? Amen. We want to pray this wonderful prayer where Jesus revealed this precious name of God to us. He called us to call God as Abba and as His beloved children, we proudly pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be Thy name, Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. May the working of your power, O Lord, increase in us, we pray, so that renewed by this heavenly sacraments, we may be prepared by your gift for receiving what they promise. 
through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you and your family members, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and proclaim the good news. Thanks be to God.